What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another one, bro. It's so ironic, right? And let me tell you why. The irony of this whole thing is, look at my shirt, and look at the, F the SCP is about Mickey Mouse Club. <sighs> you can't make this shit up, bro. I promise you I didn't put this shirt on knowing that, you see what I'm saying? It just, it's irony in life, bro. But I told y'all we was going to do SCP still. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, I miss when he did SCPs. I miss when he, bro, listen, I'm still doing SCPs. We still going to cover up them. We still going to do them. You just got to understand, you got to give me time. I'm trying to get back into, you know, the consistencies of what it was to be um in this channel bro i uploaded four times a day all that so i just gotta gotta get back into the groove get back into the rhythm and this time i'm we really going hard for the go y'all already know what it is but um oh yeah there's a lot of changes going on uh if you notice my name is x cozy no more it's nerd cozy because this channel really encapsulates my nerd side like my geek side like the side of me that really likes all these like fantasy anime like dark just creepy pasta things you know what i'm saying like that is like that is this version of myself that i like want to show on this channel and I, I really realized that, like, this is what I want this channel to be focused on. Like, these things, comics, anime, just all these different things. I feel like everybody really messes with it. And I don't want to bring my other content here. Like, uh, you know, I like hip-hop music, all that. You know what I'm saying? All these other things, you know, I just want this to be focused on that side of me and all those things that I know we all love, whether it be, like, little shorts, videos, all these other things. So that's why the name changed. And also, if you want to check out my other content, Isaiah Cozy will just be gaming and all the, all that good stuff. There'll probably still be Roblox on here too. And then on my other channels, Cozy Live is going to be on my stream stuff. So if you guys watch the Good Eats videos or the other stuff like that, I think I'll make an update video uh, tomorrow so that I could fully explain it. But for the people that's watching this video right here, um, y'all just got like a little head start on all that stuff. Um, link in the description for all the channels. But y'all already knew that. Um, but we got the rubber, the mouse, SCP-3640, Escape the House of Mouse. So this is like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse almost, I'm, I'm assuming. But let's go ahead and get straight into it, bro. I'm going to check out SCP in a little minute. I'm excited, bro. And it's the boy in rubber. So let's go. She want to know where I be. She want to know, yeah. Walking in a bitch. Just I know I love my sleep. Walking with slime, yeah. That nigga mad because she want to leave with me. Show that she mine, yeah. I let her brag. I be fucking with this bitch. Show her mind, yeah. I know y'all probably like what the, the intro just or some people skip the intro my bad i was just uh doing some real quick had check the text message all right let's go viewer discretion is advised you pick up a colorful brochure on your way home okay it tells about a location an area with an exciting urban legend promising an adventure and that's where you already about that why are you going to an urban like what is wrong with these kids bro why are you so adventurous and curious you are not curious george you're not indiana jones sit your ass down tommy of a lifetime you decide to invite your friends along during the weekend weekend arrives you and your friends find yourselves in this location Ex now where are their parents you see what i'm saying decided to begin your exploration following the brochure you suddenly find several theme park mascots standing in the distance and moving towards you as they get closer nah. you notice something's what? not right no. and you wonder what are these mascots doing here by then, it may be too late to run. Hello, everybody. I'm the Rubber. Today, we bring you hey, SCP Robert. Foundation Keter, Keter Class Object oh, yeah. SCP-3640. SCP-3640, also good. known as good. Escape <clears throat> from the House of Mouse, takes the form of tourist brochures advertising self-guided tours of areas that are associated with urban legends, haunted sightings, and folklore in the U.S. state of Florida. Anyone Florida. who reads an instance of 3640 and visits the specified location at any of the specified times will be hunted and become a prey by an instance of SCP-3640 Alpha. While the 3640 is the bait in the form of a brochure, the Alpha- Who actually does that, bro? If you see a brochure, you're going to check in with people, make sure it's good, it's dandy, call around, check on the interwebs. Like, you're just not going- This SCP wouldn't work modern day, I don't think so. Unless, like, they, like, it's online. And still, I feel like it wouldn't work, bro. But is the predator that takes the form of various cheerful and friendly-looking character mascots of popular cartoons and theme parks. Some of the characters include a mouse, a duck, or a dog. All the classics the children know and love. So Mickey, Donald, and uh, Goofy. Is Goofy a dog? After certain tests with D-Class personnel, the Foundation was able to observe Alpha to follow certain rules when selecting their prey. They include, the Alpha will only approach people who have read 3640, the brochure, and avoid any who has not read it. 
Additionally, if all members of a group have read the brochure, the number of alpha hunting the group will be equal to the amount of the members nah, in the crazy. group. And finally, the alpha will not pursue that's prey ridiculous. that cross out of the Florida state lines. Best keep that in mind when you encounter one during your pleasant walk in the- So if you read the brochure, you might as well just chalk Florida as your place of destination ever. Theme park. While there are clear understandings over the mode of operation of 3640 and the alpha, it's still a mystery on how the alpha grow and consume its prey. The following is a recorded interaction between a Foundation personnel and the Alpha. The Foundation has sent out an agent dubbed D-15. Armed with nothing but a dart pistol with tranquilizer rounds and a GPS tracker embedded inside his body, on a mission to incapacitate and to retrieve an Alpha. D-15 was instructed to follow the instructions of the brochure and shoot the mascot with his dart pistol should he encounter any. Uh, this is a lake monster tour, but I'm on the lookout for a children's theme park mascot? Why am I looking for a mascot? Why is it here, and what is it doing here? D-15 looked around and waved his flashlight anxiously. Just keep following the tour. It was dark, and D-15 was the only one with a heartbeat in the tour. He could only see as far as his flashlight could illuminate. Soon, he arrived at the end of the tour. Uh, command? I've reached the end of the tour. I've followed all the directions. It's just more river. Understood. Turn around and return to the drop-off point for pickup. He waved his flashlight mm -hmm. at a ripple on the river, illuminated a partially submerged alligator. Phew, this is creepy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. What a As he turned around, a splashing sound came nah, from the see, river. That's D when you gotta have that instant hip, turn, tuck, shoot, bro. You can't. 15 looked back, need the technique, and his bro. flashlight revealed the alpha which resembled the mascot of a duck character from a children's cartoon. Oh Daffy. no, take this! He took out his dart gun and shot at the Alpha, but it didn't respond it to his shots, Dug, huh? nor did it make any sound apart from its footsteps uh. as it slowly moved towards D-15. Soon, he ran out of ammo and decided to run for it. For a moment, he ignored all of Command's attempt of communication. He could only hear his breathing and the sound of his rapid footsteps. Moments later, he paused to catch his breath and turned around. No sign of the Alpha. How far away is the retrieval team? About 10 minutes from your location. Just keep going. You'll run into them shortly. He heard a splashing sound come oh, from nah, behind bro, and turned around and saw the Alpha climbing out of the riverbank with incredible speed and began running towards him. Back in the base, nah. Command listened intently no, for further sir. report. But a series of painful Not screams me. was all he could hear. And that was the last me? recorded voice of D-15. The Alpha attacked him, and all that followed afterwards were the sounds of back to hell? and intense water splashing. Upon oh, no, I ain't gonna lie. Water splashing is crazy. Boy, got fucked in the... In the God, man, I ain't gonna count. This SCP is ruthless. The scene, the retrieval team found only the camera and reported no signs of both D-15 and the Alpha. Later, the Foundation sent the mobile task force Lambda-12 to trace D-15's GPS signal. I've heard Lambda before. I haven't done this SCP before, have I? I hope not. Imagine double reaction, dickhead. I, I don't think so. This don't ring a bell to me. Which led them to a hut near an amusement park. The team entered the hut. It was a normal maintenance hut with some nearly empty shelves. One of the team members picked up a roll of duct tape from the shelves and examined it. Not quite what I was expecting. The team discovered a trapdoor on the ground, which led them into a large, dimly lit tunnel. As the team passed by several empty storage rooms, they heard a low rumbling noise. They moved closer and closer to the noise and found themselves in a boiler room with the boiler still active and a mascot costume curled up around an unidentified egg-like object Bro, on the ground. What is that? They examined the costume. It was a different mascot of a mouse character. Inside the costume, they pulled out a human arm bone. Yeah. One of the team members reached for the unidentified object. It appeared to be a partially translucent purple Easter egg, except that a small, embryo-like life form could be seen wriggling inside the egg. As they picked up the costume with the bones in it and prepared to leave, they heard a faint dripping sound. No way, it's a they naked Mickey Mouse. Out of the boiler room. No way. There was a trail of dark fluid leading away from the room and it matched exactly with the team's infiltration route. They climbed out of the tunnel, at which the trail of liquid ended at the shelf. 
The team looked around for more clues. Only one of them noticed something. I think this shit Scooby Dooby Doo. If you don't get back to the, you know what I'm saying? Something wasn't quite right. He picked up the roll of duct tape carries. again from the shelves. The tape, which was half full, was now empty. This roll, I could have sworn there was still some tape left over. Lambda 12 returned to base without incident. The egg collected was kept under watch in an incubation chamber, but ultimately failed to hatch. However, after several weeks, the egg was open and found to contain a miniature stuffed duck toy. Oh, and the bones they found? It was tested by the Foundation Lab and confirmed to be D-15s. As for its containment procedure, all Foundation personnel are advised to avoid reading all brochures of self-guided tours within the state of Florida and to bring any such materials to the archival department and to be transferred to MTF yeah, Lambda well, 12. Reads brochures no As more, for so the Alpha, the task force has been assigned to investigate any potential hunting grounds and to terminate any Alphas they come across with lethal force. Before we end this video, we are proud to present these I incredibly like sweet people. Or like some type of explosive device, to be honest. But I hope you guys enjoyed this SCP right here. A little short, quick, sweet one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, trying to get back to the groove with these SCPs. I hope you guys enjoy this one. And I told you I'm still doing SCPs. Don't worry about it, bro. The back rooms right now is just, it's, it's interesting. Uh, but uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. Let me know what else you guys want. And down below in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one, bro. Peace out.